that is dominating the news is that terrible loss of life in the channel last uh, yesterday afternoon. Tw at least 27 people now known to have died trying to cross the channel in a flimsy dinghy getting in off a beach uh, near Calais. Uh, in five women and one little girl among those who are known to have died. Two survivors in hospital with severe hypothermia uh, and others still missing. Well, the blame game inevitably has begun. And who is to blame? Well, the people smugglers, obviously, charging up to £6,000 uh, for a place in one of these flimsy, rickety boats. They'd made a £100,000 profit from those migrants who got into those boats and didn't get to British shores yesterday. And they care not a jot whether they lived or they died. The French authorities, those who are paid £54 million pounds of British taxpayers' money right now, but yet stand by and do absolutely nothing as they watch the boats being launched from the beaches in France. The British government, are they to blame? Failing to deport those who do arrive here illegally, even those who have failed their asylum uh, applications many years on? Well, this may well be the game-changing moment. But why did we have to wait for 27 people, including a young child, to die before action was taken? We know that Boris Johnson and President Emmanuel Macron are now under pressure to do something. So what do they need to do? Well, they can do as much as they want to stop the people smugglers, but there will always be another criminal gang that will appear and come along and take on that work, happy to exploit migrants for the riches that they can make. The only real way to tackle this issue is to tackle the demand, to end the demand to come to the UK. Why are so many people in a completely safe country like France de so desperate to get to the UK that they will risk their own and their children's lives to get here? That is the question we have to ask and that is the question we need to know the answer to because until we know that answer, we are never going to be able to stop the stem of migrants. 26,000 this year alone coming over on this route. And we're also never going to be able to end the terrible tragedies just like this one. The situation is as desperate as we're told those migrants are when they get in 